Marcus, it doesn't really matter how you get there, you got there. Yeah, we kind of limped in, didn't we? But um, I look, I think it's a reflection of how we played over the whole season. Um, I think we played some really competitive cricket, won some very important games, and yeah, look, it wasn't ideal not to, to get a win out of our last two games, but um, we're there and um, it's been a while and we're, we're all looking forward to it. Is it concerning at all that you didn't win the last two or is it just a completely clean slate now? Oh no, I think it's definitely a clean slate. I think that, um, uh, you know, we, we showed some really good form pre, pre and just after Christmas. Um, the last couple of games, like I said, weren't ideal, but um, you know, a lot of guys are, are very confident with their games. I thought the, the character that we showed and the fight back that we showed in a game that we probably had no right to, to even um, you know, be a chance of winning against New South Wales over there, we, we nearly did. So we can take a lot of confidence that we've played. We're going to be playing on the same ground that we played last week against the same opposition. So there certainly won't be any surprises and we know exactly what to expect. So we should be pretty well uh, prepared for that. Some very, some very wise cricket heads, aka Justin Langer, suggest that the, the youth of the team might actually work in your favour. Well, let's hope so. Um, you know, we've got a lot of young guys. I think, um, you know, we're, we're probably fighting uh, history in a way with, um, you know, would, if we do win next week, that'll be arguably one of the youngest sides uh, of, as the average age. So, um, look, they've been someone, you know, the young kids have been, you know, great for, for me and for, for Adam Voges and the likes that they have these, this, the energy and the enthusiasm that these young guys bring into the side is, is pretty infectious. So, something that I've really enjoyed playing with alongside this year and, and no doubt we'll be looking forward to playing, you know, on such a great occasion. You know, we'll all be nervous to a degree. Um, you know, we're all first timers of this. Um, so yeah, so we'll be looking forward to that and hopefully these young guys can, um, you know, re really step up to the, to the occasion along with, with some of the older blokes. Because the leadership role does fall to you and Sean and Adam principally. Yeah, absolutely. And that's something that we've thrived on all year. Um, certainly, I can speak for, you know, for myself is that uh, just the experience of um, opening the batting with someone like a Cameron Bancroft who's playing in his first rookie year and there's a number of guys in the same boat. So to kind of um, use the experience, I guess, the time that I've played a lot, you know, over the last 10 or 15 years, you don't want to waste that. So I've really enjoyed working with the young guys, uh, helping their development and, and I guess living their experiences with them and reliving what I had and how I felt. Um, when I first started playing uh, first class cricket. So it's certainly been, like I said, something I've really enjoyed this year and, and going to be really enjoying the, the preparation and the, and the occasion of the final. Personally, it's been a long road for yourself. You haven't played in a Shield final, you've been here for so long. What does it mean? You know, have you had a chance to reflect on that? Yeah, I, certainly the weekend. We've had a couple of days off and um, just been relaxing with the family. And it's, yeah, look, it's certainly right up there as one of the biggest occasions of my career. Um, it it's, reminds me of, I guess, the anticipation and excitement of when I got picked up, uh, in South Africa for a test tour that, um, you know, I've been playing 14 or 15 years and just haven't played in a final, Shield final. So, um, yeah, I, I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, you know, I guess that, um, you know, this is one of the missing links of, of my career. I've been able to achieve a few things, play for my country and, and play county cricket and, and play a lot of state cricket, but never played in a Shield final. And hopefully I play in a winning Shield final in a, in a week's, uh, week's time, and that'll be something that I can, you know, hold very close to my heart. Uh, having missed out on the Scorchers, I guess, and I, it's not the same thing, but having missed out on the Scorchers, you would be particularly keen to make a success of, of the final this time? Yeah, absolutely. And I saw that, you know, what that meant to a lot of my teammates, you know, and you know, when I got back from Sydney, I got back for the final and, um, you know, it was great. I came, I brought my son and I came, watched the final and, you know, I got a lot of, you know, it was a buzz for me to watch my teammates play in a final and win a final, you know. We've played, I've, I've played in a few losing finals of the, of the Scorchers and, um, you know, it's the first win since I think it was 03, 04, which is the last final I played in up in Queensland in a one day, uh, one day final. So, um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a while in, you know, in, in between those finals, but um, yeah, look, like I said, the, I guess the, the excitement and the enthusiasm that those guys showed during that final of the Scorchers has rubbed off on the way we've played um, post Christmas. And there's a real belief of playing finals cricket and you know, there's no coincidence that we've, we've made a short final because of that through some of the really good cricket. And, and hopefully that hunger can, you know, from the T20 um, brand can really come into the Ford Ager. So your form at the top of the order has been a key reason why they've got there. And JL's already said he wants you for, for next season. 
the fans expect to see you playing for the Warriors again? Yeah, look, I won't be playing for anyone else. Um, look, my, my main objective is this week and really looking forward to enjoying that experience of a Shield final. And, and then after that, I'll, we'll sit down with, with Justin and Wacker management and, and, and look after my future from there. But um, yeah, look, I'll, I won't be playing for anyone else other than Western Australia in the future. Physically and mentally, you raring to go for another season? Yeah, well, look, physically is good and that's always a, a good case and um, the other thing for me is that, you know, if I'm enjoying my cricket and performing is, is a big key and, um, you know, this year is probably, I've arguably enjoyed it as most of any other season I've played and um, I guess that happens when you're playing with a, a young side and winning games of cricket um, and an added bonus is performing well individually and so um, it's been a really, really enjoyable year. Hopefully have a really good week, a lot of fun over in Canberra and, and come back with a win and then look to the future from there. Just on uh, Michael Clark, how was that news received? I know Jail yesterday was talking up the fact that the young guys would get to play against him. Now he's not playing. How was that news received for the player? Oh, look, I'm not overly disappointed. Um, <laughs> arguably one of the world's best batters uh, we don't have to face. And obviously Doug Bollinger's been caught up um, to the World 2020 squad, so I think he might be uh, unavailable. So, yeah, look, they're missing a couple of key players that they would, they would dearly like to have back. but. Um, New South Wales cricket, we, we know, are very, very strong. They've got a lot of depth. Um, the way Steve Smith led as a captain and as a player last week, um, you know, he's, he's a real danger man. So they've got some very, very good cricketers over there, and especially in those conditions. Um, but like I said, we've, we've got the advantage we played against them. We played against them last week and in, in the same conditions we're going to uh, face in the final. So we'll be very well prepared moving into next week. How do you avoid a repeat of that first innings? Well, make sure that we're a little bit more switched on. Uh, wasn't a great start to uh, to the game, but um, look, I just hopefully that's just one of our poor innings of the season. I think throughout the whole campaign, our batting's been very consistent um, uh, under pressure. Um, so I, I expect that to um, you know be successful come next week again. Um, you know, I'd rather get bowled out for 80 the, in the last game than in the Shield final. So hopefully we've got that out of our systems, and I think we showed that with some of the. Um, the, the, you know the partnerships and the batting under real pressure in that second innings um, against some reverse swing and some spin. Um, the way Sean Marsh played was outstanding. So we've showed we showed that you know we corrected a lot of the wrongs in our first innings and from our uh, in the second innings. So we're, we're going into our, this game very confident as a batting group.